All right, guys, so breaking news. You know what the word is. I know what the word is. Let's just get this over with. Tom Thibodeau and the New York Knicks, they finalized on a five-year deal. <laughs> hey, year after year, we always see the New York Knicks. They always go with new experiments, and they always go with coaches, and they'll take them usually for a four- or five-year deal, but then fire them within a season and a half at least, somewhere in that mix. Uh, we saw with David Fisdale, they had him around two seasons ago. Um, or Maybe it was only last season. I don't remember. With the quarantine going on, I can't even remember things nowadays. But yeah, David Fisdale was there for around 50 games or so. They took him out. They fired him. Now they have an intern coach to take over. Um, listen, the New York Knicks, they're a mess. James Dolan does not know how to run this franchise for the past decade and you know, such forth when it comes down to it. They have a bunch of young cats they have on their team. You have Dennis Smith Jr. You have RJ Barrett, Kevin Knox. You got Julius Randle, uh, you know, Mitchell Robinson. But with David Fisdale, he did not know how to utilize the team. Uh, and therefore, they brought in a bunch of veterans to kind of even things out. So, for example, Taj Gibson, uh, Alfred, pra Alfred Payton. You can't, I wouldn't really consider him like a veteran veteran, but they brought him on the team. You still have Frank, who's still young. Um, I'm probably missing a couple guys. Maurice Harkless on there and a couple players like that. But the Knicks are a mess. I actually thought personally... You know, in the beginning of the season, whenever they did bring in those players all together, I thought they would have ran things a different way. And if you guys are looking at my screen, I have a starting lineup of Dennis Smith Jr., R.J. Barrett, Kevin Knox, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson. I thought they would go with the young guys and pretty much build them up that way, but um, that wasn't the case with David Fisdale. He did a weird lineup. Usually, he would bring in Mitchell Robinson off the bench. He would have Taj Gibson at the five, then he had Julius Randle at the four. Maurice Harkless at the three, Alfred Payton at the one, sometimes Frank, and then at the two, RJ Barrett. Um, and that's a weird mix. I don't know how you develop a team like that. But hey, it is what it is. So Tom Thibodeau is going to be on the team uh, for this franchise. for the. Ne I think he'll be there for around a season and a half. I don't think they'll fire him the first season, but the Knicks will not make the playoffs. Pretty much has been the case for the past decade. Um, pretty much when Carmelo Anthony left and... Uh, well, 2013 was the last time they were actually that good to make the playoffs. Uh, but that's on that case. Tom Thibodeau, do I think he's a good fit for the team? No. If this were a veteran team, to where you had some you know, all-stars on there like Chris Paul or DeMar DeRozan, then yeah, I'll be like, okay, that's a fine pick. But for now, with Tom Thibodeau, it's not going to make sense. He's going to want these players to go hard. And that's not the case. They won't have enough talent. You're not going to have star players join the New York Knicks. So it's a weird position. And Tom Thibodeau, he's more of a defensive presence, a defensive. He's more of a, an assistant coach when it comes down to me, not a head coach. So he's not going to run any strategies, X's and O's. I think he'll do the same thing pretty much as David Fisdale to where he'll just run the veterans to pretty much play the game. And he really won't develop Dennis Smith Jr., Kevin Knox. I think RJ Barrett will still get time. Uh, I think he would actually put Mitchell, uh, Mitchell Robinson to play more, but... Besides that, I don't see any player development. I don't. I think this team, there will probably be around 18 wins, 18 to 20 next season. I don't expect them to pretty much bring in big players. So, I mean, any role players are just going to be in the mix uh, with the Knicks. I mean, it is what it is. We saw with the Minnesota Timberwolves, he did sign with them around two seasons ago. But after Jimmy Butler left, that team was a mess. He could not coordinate with Andrew Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns. Um, and again, he's only a coach that you can bring in for a veteran type team. Uh, he's kind of like more of like a Doc Rivers type. So do I see success for the Knicks? No. Do I see them bringing in free, big free agents? No. Do I expect Tom Thibodeau to make a change that's worthy of them growing? No. <laughs> so it's a laughing stock. Um, I'll be very surprised if the Knicks actually make some moves. James Dolan has said some controversial things and he just needs to keep his mouth shut. He needs to sell the franchise. I don't expect the Knicks to make the playoffs anytime soon. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think below about Tom Thibodeau. I don't, I mean, I think they should have gone pretty much for a younger coach uh, in the league. I know there's talks of possibly bringing Jason Kidd. I don't agree with that at all. Um, there's not a lot of coaches really out there in the market that, you know, they're eye appealing. Maybe some coaches you have to bring as an assistant coach for different franchises, maybe college coaches. I think they got to go with the younger direction, but Tom Thibodeau, I give him around a season and a half. They're going to let him go, fire him, and the Knicks are still going to be uh, you know, wrapped up in that bubble of not knowing what to do.